My life before I met Jesus was dark. Um, I was addicted to drugs, addicted to alcohol. I was on the street. Um, I'd lost everything. My job, my the family that were still speaking to me had stopped. Um, I had nothing but the clothes on my back. Um, I was eating out of dustbins. I was hustling for the next fix. I, in desperation, cried out to what I had hoped to be real. Um, I didn't know, know much about Jesus or what he could do at that stage. I remember crying out to him in desperation. It was, I was cold, it was winter. Um, I was on the street and slowly I, I got a place to stay um, in, a, in an old friend's um, house. I was scared and I asked God to intervene again and um, he did. I believe he intervened through my father who had sent me a message um, saying ensure you get down to Cape Town in a language that my father doesn't use. Um, and when I got to Cape Town, I Googled churches nearby. I looked at all the photos, like, who are these people? Um, I, I then came to a, a church service and um, I enjoyed it. I got my little red bag and I got my invite to welcome home dinner. Um, at welcome home dinner, I met a few people from the church um, and they were familiar to me, although I had never met them in my life. I felt a sense of love that I hadn't felt um, in years. I felt a sense of belonging, um, a place that I could grow, and at the same time, people that would teach me and hold me accountable. Um, a place of honesty. Um, I think it's in that night I felt everything I ever longed for in a family environment. Um, just looking at my life and from where I was um, with nothing, I had nothing, I had clothes on my back. Um, I am blessed to have six incomes, to have a family. What, there's nothing that God can't do, nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm clean, I'm sober, there's nothing God can't do. My life is a testament to the power of God and the love of Jesus. If God's done so much for me, he can do so much for those who just call on his name.